Now let's turn to other news. Leaders in Cyprus say they have made serious progress towards a deal that will stop the island slipping into potential bankruptcy. One report says it could include a levy of 20% on deposits over 100,000 euros at the Bank of Cyprus. Our correspondent Chris Morris is in Nicosia. Bank workers marching on the streets of Nicosia, but it's probably too late to make any difference. Cyprus is going to have to accept European demands. Yesterday, my son, you know what he asked me? I'm going to sell my new bike. I said, why? Dad, I see on TV, maybe you don't have work next week. Cypriot banks invested heavily in Greece and lost a lot of money there. And the rest of Europe now says the banking sector is way too big compared to the size of the national economy. It's dependent on its role as an offshore tax haven. And Germany and others say that has to change. So to get a bailout loan of 10 billion euros from the Eurozone and the IMF, Cyprus itself has to raise 5.8 billion, most of it from the banking sector. That could include a tax of at least 20% on all deposits over 100,000 euros in the country's biggest bank. Meetings between Cypriot leaders and international lenders are continuing. If there's no deal by Monday, the European Central Bank says emergency funding for Cyprus will be cut off. I am hoping that the solution is, uh, is near because we need to reach a, a solution uh, as quickly as possible for uh, the safeguarding of the interest of the economy of Cyprus. So the pressure is on. People here are angry and scared for their future. But investors in Cyprus have had far higher rates of interest than elsewhere in the Eurozone. And now it looks like they're going to have to pay. Chris Morris, BBC News, Nicosia. Let's return to the situation in Cyprus. Uh, we're hearing of serious pro progress being made in finding some sort of deal uh, for a bailout uh, for Cyprus's banks. Let's uh, talk to Chris Morris in Nicosia. And Chris, we have had days of uncertainty. Is there any more certainty tonight? Uh, there isn't really, no. And uh, progress is one thing, but in this particular deal, 95% of the way there isn't going to be enough. Uh, the Cyprus's Eurozone partners have made it very clear that they have to raise 5.8 billion euros, the Cypriot authorities. 5.2, 5.4, that isn't enough. It's very, very clear that most of that money also needs to come uh, from a restructuring of the banking sector or from a levy on banking deposits. So uh, there is talk uh, tonight of a levy of at least 20% on large deposits in Cyprus's biggest bank, the Bank of Cyprus. Uh, there is also, I think, a bit of a rearguard action being fought by the Cypriot authorities to prevent much more severe action against that bank. There are those who believe that perhaps it should be split into two like the second largest bank in the country. So uh, it's very difficult times for Cyprus, but as you know, there's a deadline of Monday. After that, the European Central Bank has said it can no longer guarantee emergency funding for this economy. Chris, how apprehensive, how angry are Cypriots about what may be to come and what it may contain, this future deal, if it is made? I think there's a lot of apprehension, certainly, because there's a lot of uncertainty. And whatever happens, uh, whether there's a deal or not, and I think we have to presume it's likely that there will be, uh, it's going to be a very painful period for Cyprus. It's the banking sector, by far the most important part of its economy, has been badly damaged. Uh, there will be controls on many financial transactions if and when the banks reopen. And I think Cyprus is facing, like many other countries in southern Europe, a period of three to five years of very tough economic times uh, when it's really going to have to reinvent itself. There's also a lot of resentment, I think, at some of the diktats which they feel have been coming from other parts of Europe, notably from Germany. So not a great week for solidarity in Europe, but then you can find plenty of officials elsewhere who say, well, Cyprus has lived the good times with a banking sector far too large for the size of its economy, and now it's time for it to buckle down and pay some of that money back. Chris, thank you very much. Chris Morris in Nicosia.